Welcome back to another Abs Daily News with your hockey coach guru, Count Frenchy. Today, episode number 74. We're going to talk about uh, the salary cap for the Gold Enter for the Montreal Canadiens. So don't go nowhere. Before we start, we invite you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the show, and finally, please, below this episode 74, leave me a comment about what you think about my subjects today. Today on the menu, we have for you guys, uh, for episode number 74, goalies, salary, with the Montreal Canadian and NHL, we're going to compare. We got some news uh, for Carey Price uh, from his ex Goalie coach Stefan Waite. Go talk about the prospect goaltender Joe Verbetic. Uh, signed a professional contract at 19 years old. New rules for the NHL and CHL. Go talk about the Montreal Canadiens could have 13 prospects at the World Junior Championship in August. NHL trade bait uh, Matthew Katschuk. Let's dive in and talking about the goalie salary. Here what I, I study for the last couple of days. Carey Price have a $10.5 million AAV per year. Jake Allen is at 2.8. Uh, if you combine both together, that gives you guys $13.3 million on the salary cap for the Montreal Canadiens. The NHL average is under $7 million. So just to give you an idea how Montreal is on the top of any other team for the salary cap for the goaltender. The problem is for the Montreal, because they gave so much money on this area position, have to sacrifice a forward or a defenseman around $6 million. That give you guys a, a top six players or a top three defenseman. And that's right now make Montreal Canadian it can use, uh, complicate, is situation because of the salary cap they have with a goaltender. On the top 15 team in NHL, guys, you have only two teams has a $7.5 million or more for their duo than them goaltender. One of them is the Tampa Bay Lightning, by the way. The new area where the team adopt a new strategic for the goaltender, they use this Principle 1A and 1B goaltender. The first one is around $5.5 million, and the number two is at $2.5 million. You see the signature, the goaltender happening the last couple of weeks. Talking about Jack Campbell, we talk about Darcy Quamper. That's what now the NHL team are working about the salary for the goaltender. So the different money between the goaltender number 1A versus 1B is about $3 million. So when you evaluate and you some search like this, my thinking, guys, is this. The NHL team now, they are cutting their contract, short contract for the goaltender. See, they don't allow anymore a seven, eight years contract for goaltender. They are really limited and they drop the salary under $7 million. So that gives you an idea how this works now in NHL. That's not good for the Montreal Canadiens with carry price at $10.5 million. That brings you guys now on my absolution is like I mentioned, Ken Hughes is in the bad situation to improve the team because the salary cap of carry price at $10.5 million. The team will reevaluate the money they gave to the goalies now. That's what they for. They want to be sure they have a better balance on the percentage of the salaries between all the players, all different positions, like the top three forward, they will allow maybe 20 to $23 million. Line number two, maybe drop at $16 million. Line number three, drop between 10 to $12 million. He can go all the way like that. That's what a GM have to make that kind of template to have a balanced salary cap and to be under the $82.5 million. The biggest news is happening yesterday. It's some speculation but we heard this from Stefan Waite on the TSN radio 690 in Montreal. Mentioned Carey Price is healthy. He expect him to be the goaltender for the Montreal Canadiens next year. 
it play about 40 to 45 game. So really interesting news and shocking news for me because we is the first one around in Montreal right now mentioned the situation with Carey Price. No one around the Montreal Canadian can confirm this. But my thinking, this guy is simple. It's over one year now with Carey Price. It's always been the same way. It's a roller coaster up and down, and you never know. So for me, I would say to you guys, wait and see. That's it. Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. If Carey Price can play, we have Allen back up. If he cannot play, put him on the long-term injury reserve and use Jake Allen and use Samuel Montembeau and the third cap drop about $10.5 million. So that's the good news for the Montreal Canadiens. I just want to share with you guys the new direction all the NHL team are doing right now for the goalie salary cap in NHL. Let's move on for the next one, guys. Is Montreal Canadiens have 13 prospect invite for the World Junior Championship in August. Let's start with Canada. Kenan Cooley, Owen Beck, Joshua Roy, and Roddy Kidney. Our four players got an invitation from Team Canada. For Slovakia, they invite uh, Slakowski and Philip Mazar. Austria invite Vincent Roller. Team Finland invite Oliver Kapanen and Petri Nurmi. USA invite Lane Hudson, Luke Tak, and Biondi. And finally, Chechia invite Jan Mizak. Many of them are not going to go because some of them is going to be at the training camp for the Montreal Canadiens, for the rookie camp and the training camp. So they're not going to participate for the, for the World Junior Championship. But just give you an idea how now Montreal have a better prospect in this organization now because they work hard to pick the right players. The future for Montreal is so bright with those kind of players you can see. Just want to share with you this for the Montreal Canadiens. Finally, for the Montreal Canadiens, today I want to talk about the goaltender Joe Vrebedic. You have an exception rule in NHL and CHL, the Canadian Hockey League agreement. First of all, Joe turned pro as a 19 years old. It's rare. He signed a one-year, two-way contract with the Montreal Canadiens. He was draft seven round in 2020. He played for the Norby Battalions and OHL. He was the backup number two. We expect him to play for the 12-year Lions, the East Coast Hockey League for the clip farm for the Montreal Canadiens. So, but I want to explain to you what is the rules uh, between the NHL and CHL. Only way a player can become professional is this way. He has to be four years play junior, first of all. Secondly, he has to turn 20 years old. And for this, usually everybody thinking because set number 15 is the date limit to shifting the age of the players to become a player can be draft in NHL. But for the situation of the turning professional, it's December 31st. Joe Vrebedic is going to be 20 years old in December. So that gave him permission to sign a contract at 19 years old with the Montreal Canadiens. So I just want to share this for just for knowledge about hockey. And that's what I like to do here at the Hockey National Show. Brings friend continents where maybe you cannot find nowhere. So Hopefully you enjoy it and leave me a comment what you think about this. Finally, the biggest news in NHL right now for the last 24 hours, uh, it's all about Matthew Kachuk, uh, where they have a disagreement about his contract. And after they lost the flame, lost Johnny Goodrow, can they lost their best second players for the team? Matthew Kachuk, big news in NHL. We're looking about seven destinations. This coming from Athletic, St. Louis Blues, Nashville Predator, Detroit Red Wings, New Jersey Devils, New York Islanders, the Vegas Golden Knight, Dallas Star, and that we could put another team for me is the Flutter Panthers. This is going to be really, really the news for the next couple of days. Uh, we know he scored 42 goals goal last season, 103 points, and is one of the best top power forward winger in NHL, only 24 years old. Really interesting where Matthew Ketchuk is going to play. Here we go, guys. This complete episode number 74. I want to remind you, my episode number 75 is tomorrow. It could become one of the best 
I never did because we will talk about someone nobody know and is play a major role of the selection of Steph Kosky for the Montreal Canadiens. Come back tomorrow to watching this episode, but this complete guide, my episode number 34 for the Hockey Nation Live show under Abs Daily News. But before we leave, we want to remind you, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the show, sharing this video, and below this video, leave me a comment, tell me about the episode number 34. And of course, it's Thursday. We wish you an amazing, happy, thankfully, Thursday, everybody.